<laughs> That's funny. You ready to go to the next one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep, go. There you go. Oops. There you go. Uh, yeah, we saw that. We haven't seen those ones yet. Uh, yes, yeah, I've been meaning that was where I was actually going to be going next. Like I said, there's some, there's some things that shot? you have to. Yep. Of course, they have kids. If they had no sweets, the kids would probably have rioted and killed and buried all the teachers by now. Uh, they do they do supply the sweets for free, but you get like uh, chits for them, and the kids mm -hmm. trade the chit. The, the chits are kid currency. They're not worth very much, and you can only redeem them at the sweet shop. But for kids, this is some shit. I mean, yes. you have access yes. to other shit and all that stuff, but plus McKay is not a real sweet tooth as far as I know. No. Is that... It looks very similar to it. Interesting. That photo of the theatre... Oh, yes? ...looks very similar, although it looks slightly oh. different, I think, but it looks very similar to the forum theater in melbourne in korea it could well be i have no idea i'm not the yeah, one wearing a fucking tuxedo around and doing fancy shit sir it, i like yeah, a fucking a, burrito out of a cracked plate all well, the, the forum theater is one of the locations i use for the film festival and mm -hmm. so been to it a few times as i said it looks similar but i don't think it is quite but yeah, it's like one of those old ones they've converted with the lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. The old okay. theater is definitely very classy. Yeah, yeah. And where's the other? Actually, you have seen here. I'm going to unveil some more. You have seen some of this, but you have not explored any of it. This is the great outdoors. It's near the theater shed. Moon God Hall. Oh. And you've only seen some of that shit from extreme distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, you discovered that uh, they do have guns, although all the ones here are non-lethal. Um, you... Right now, you're just kind of doing the shoot the beams of magic at the targets and then knocking them down type thing. But the older kids are doing like, uh, they're shooting like basically taser type stuff at each other during okay. like exercise. There's a, a lot of shit scaled toward combat and stuff here. Um, you know, military service. Yeah. Okay. Nobody can say I haven't fucking taken some time and gotten some pics for you. <laughs> That's for sure. For those of you who wonder why you don't get to see the pics, because they're from the internet, I don't have the legal rights to them. If you want to see them, you're going to have to fucking play. So, moving on. They're, yeah, they're pretty much flavor pictures, so not mm -hmm. seeing them is not necessarily going to ruin no. listening, watching the, the, the podcast cast watching the um thingy uh -huh. the game okay yeah but you you got to see that it the parts of the school are very much like hogwarts um a lot of uh, flying buttresses and shit like that and different lighting in different halls some magical some torches that never seem to run out all that kind of different shit um big drafty hallways and although the kids are dressed uh more like military uniforms rather than robes with ties and shit yeah yeah they do look a lot more military and oh, yeah. to do that all right so i want there's also no end of fucking useless kid plots going on and stuff. 
you know, some yeah. kid planning on stealing the candy vouchers of some other kid, all that kind of shit. But I assume even though you're currently a kid, you are an adult in the kid's body. And so for many of these things, you don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. The Wimple Corp. I'm going to, for the moment. Oh, exploration time. Cool. Yeah. You Just give up on trying to find that stuff and you're like, haha, I will do something else. Oh, no, okay. no, no, I haven't given up on it. It's just something else that I keep meaning to check out and so forth. I'll check it out now and then go on to do other stuff, but I want to just just want to eliminate it quickly. Okay, uh, you head over to the Arthur P. Wimple Corridor. Mm -hmm. What a goofy and, fucker statue, you think? Yes. And I will go to the barber hairdresser. Check out the barber hairdresser. It, it looks like just some normal dude. It's definitely not a Clems. And mm -hmm. he goes, ah, glad you're here. Have a seat. Thank you. And... There you go. <laughs> no jars, no of hot... course. Yeah. You no hotel? A... He looks at you as though you're insane. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, now, I keep in mind, your hair doesn't come back as an adult automatically. So, you know, you're rocking the buzz cut. All the yeah, way, I wasn't you know? sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. If it just suddenly came back again along with the whole. You're kind of glad it doesn't. Imagine your fingernails going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was more thinking from a point of view of a reset as opposed to it, the nails growing. Like how how we lose things planted in our bodies oh, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they, that, they, you can experiment with that if you want. Yeah, like, no, I'm not going to cut off parts of myself. No, I mean and I'll with let, your hair and shit when you go into the the other thing yeah. if you want. That's yeah, a yeah. that's a really neat way to fucking experiment with shit too. Yeah, I just I mean like we've had I know the um like the bomb implants disappearing and stuff like that. Much to the chagrin and, of people who put in bomb implants. And from memory, things like scars and wounds and stuff disappear. Mm -hmm. Like once they heal up, there's no scarring or anything except what we had prior to coming here, potentially. Is there anything else you want to do? Yes. In the, in the Wimple Corridor area. Uh, no, it was, it was more just the... Excuse me, checking out the barber. No um, problem. You've got plenty of shit to do. What's next? All right, so it's in the forbidden stacks. All right, so I can't get it there. Um, yeah, that was the other thing I was curious to play with. I will head over to the Magitech class, the Magitech lab, in fact, mm -hmm. and no try, try out the magic testing machine. You're at the top, whatever the fuck that means. Now, it does tell you uh, uh, the different levels of magic, which may be of interest to you. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I will tell you that in a moment here. Uh, by the way, pop culture references at the school, right over the people's heads. They have no idea what you're talking about. Yep. Beer brand. Oh, God damn it. Where is it? Hold on a minute. Let me... Essentially, there's there's five different levels of magic, and I'm still looking for them. The first level is you have no magic at all. Mm -hmm. uh, the second level, I think, is like sensitive. Oh, God damn it. Let me find it because I've written all this up, and I'm like, where is it? <laughs> is it relate? I don't know. Can you search on Magitech Lab? 
I'm not sure if it's under that. I like it. Oh, yeah. There, there is a search function, but I, actually, hold on. Let me type in levels of magic. Oh, Jesus, I've got a lot under levels of magic. Um, ah, wait, let me search for one of the levels. Magical power ranks, there we go. Um, let's see, uh, the different, the five different levels from the bottom is null. Then it goes to canny. Then is it C A double N Y? Correct. Then gifted. Mm -hmm. Then adept. Then megas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Is there any other kids about testing themselves on it? No. Um, uh, um, the only kids who ever use this machine are showing off that they have a five. And uh, give me a research role to find out a little bit more about this discreetly. Yeah, I was curious, does everybody come up with that? Hmm. Uh, no. Yeah, who knows, fucking kids. I'll, I'll, next, I'll talk to Ollie about it and see whether or not she's tried it out and what she comes up as, as well as, or... Um, Ollie is a hard person to talk to, dude. Sometimes she doesn't answer you and just wanders off, like now. All You're right, like... so I'll also talk to Lynette or Oscar or Pat or Steve. Aha, you remember your table mates. No problem. I'm, I'm ro rolling for their no general shit that kids should know. Guys, you know. Well, if we sit with them, presumably at lunch and dinner every day. What? <laughs> <laughs> have any of you tried it out? <laughs> oh yeah, they 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 have various. Basically, getting toward the top is more rare. You find that out. That's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more magic, more rare. Okay. Yep, yep. Fucking kids, you think? <laughs> Can I always say which one would it? Which is be? hilarious. Oh, it's under ideas. Why? Why would it be under ideas? We know that that's right. I'm gonna see if I can uh, history, Mr. Ramirez. Uh, let me go to uh, that map. I'm going to go to the history department. I can find it. Well, the, the teachers are wander around and shit. You're going to go look for Ramirez, or do you want to just ransack the history department? Twice? I'll go to the. I will, I will start at the history department to see if he's there, and I will check out. I'll check out the history department because this yeah. will potentially be an area where I will find what I'm looking for anyway. Um, if you're sorry, hang on. The, um, can I just, go and, hey, just got a dog that's barking a bit for attention. Great. It's uh, off of Damarung Corridor. Or, yeah. Near the political science classroom. Oh, there we go. Well, first of all, I want to see. I'll check to see if Mr. Ramirez is in. Yes, he's sitting there waiting for you to come in. Oh, took me by surprise. I was just getting ready to leave. He says he hasn't gotten into his golem leg things yet. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? Um, yes, Why are um, you studying on the weekend? I was. Curious as to if you knew anything about the ghost dance. He rolls his history roll. 
Elven Dance, supposed to be bad for humans. Yes. Uh, I, not a lot. I mean, it's the it's part of the the elvish. We're going to get them filthy humans back. Uh, lore. Mm-hmm. Yes, Why? I, Why are oh, you well, interested in it? Well, my ancestor Joshua McKay, who I was named after, was involved in the Battle of San Angeles. Hmm. All right. All right. I'm sure he fought very bravely. That's excellent. Hmm. Um, do you, by chance, have a copy of Fables of the Vanquished Elves? Hmm. No, you might want to check the library. Yes, I did. Unfortunately, it's in the forbidden section, which I do not have access to. <laughs> he goes, ah! If it's in the forbidden section, it's a bit beyond your reading level, he says. Don't you worry about it. Okay. He gives you a sweet. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The only bad thing about being 11 is you get patronized a lot. I mean, sure, the sweet's good and all, but still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, then. Do you have any... Do you have... Any knowledge of? Okay, so it's ghost dance that um, you You've heard about. Your sweetie says. Now let me get into my legs. Sorry, sir. I did not mean to interrupt. Whatever it was you were doing. He's doing the awkward. My legs aren't working. Climb into uh, his other legs, even though his shoes are still scuffed. Can I help you, sir? Ah, thank you. Just make sure the uh, golem legs don't fall over. That's always a horrible time. But Mm -hmm. don't get crushed under them either. Okay. Give me a strength roll. Fumble, fumble. Help me, sir. Help me. Uh, Where are we? Crushed to death. My 11-year-old body can't handle this. Uh, Zero two. Like a fucking rock. <laughs> He's like, all right, you're a tough one. And she shows like the, the, you got the corded muscles and the fucking six pack on under the shirt. And you're like fucking kids these days. All right, well, thank you very much. He he uh, flips some switches and uh, whitish smoke starts coming out of uh, like part of the legs. Mm-hmm. Well, anything else, Billy? Uh, it's Joshua, sir. And anything else, Joshua? Uh, uh, no. Oh, do do you have any books about um, elvish rituals? No, but I have a book on elves you can read. <laughs> it gives you a book: elves, why to hate them, how to kill them, and why they make great slaves. There you go. He says, giving you the most racially insensitive book you'd <laughs> ever imagine. Uh, thank you. Yes. Did he? Where did he get it from? Um, the stack of them over there. So, <laughs> stop, <laughs> right. stop. You're like, oh yeah, you'd love to see this in PC culture. There, mm. there, there, there would be a, a public book burning if they had their way with this. Yes. And he leaves, <laughs> does he? Um. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing in here that's of interest to any kid if they had any choice in it. He stops off to go do. Adult All stuff. Right. Well, since he's Maybe stomped he's off. Maybe he's the ambassador or something else, yeah. Since he's stomped off, I want to check out his library, assuming he's presumably in his office where he was. Uh, oh, yeah. He's he, probably he, got his personal library. Uh, his there's own books. Nothing, nothing really wild in there. They look pretty fucking dull and tame. All okay. the good shit, no doubt, locked up just behind the impenetrable. <laughs> mechanical lock that you could almost get your pinky into. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you're just sitting there thinking about it. You're like, I've fucking broken into MI6 before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to work out ways around it without seeing if I can get around without having to do the stupid pick locks. 
you know it's coming down to that mm -hmm. you, you know that at some point you're going to have a rope and somebody else is going to be holding you and you're going to be like spread out over the ground with the runes on it going, <laughs> and pulling your own fucking mission impossible bullshit you know mm -hmm. it's coming but mm -hmm. you don't remember there being like walkways in the roof so that could be hard <laughs> yes all right but funny Especially since everybody's 11 years old. Except Tom Cruise, who's still in his 50s doing this movie with a bunch of 11-year-olds who keep remarking how old he looks. All right, I guess I'm going to head back to the library. <laughs> no problem. Uh, you go back to the library. I have some other older kids see you guys going in. They go, nerd! It's, they're not going in the library. Why they're hanging out near it is a mystery. But um, they pause they pause in their busy day to make fun of the nerd kid going into the library during the weekend. I will attempt my badass walk. Ooh. Oops. This would be a funny time to fumble. fumble. <laughs> nice. They they look at each other as you walk the walk of sexual confusion. <laughs> They're like, you gotta beat the shit out of that kid. And you're like, stop. And <laughs> they yeah, you think later that you're gonna get jumped in the corridor and beat up just for being different. <laughs> Those poor, poor bastards, if they yeah, do. Yeah, they're, they're not going to do well. <laughs> uh, it's like, sure, you're two points of damage down, but you can slap them very slowly to death. Yes, and I have a, well, A, I've got the damage bonus for strength for a start. Right, so you don't be one down from, yeah. Yes. Neat. Yeah, you, you prepare, prepare for fucking Mortal Kombat. They may jump you when you come out of the library, you're thinking, just so you're aware. You, you, you're pretty good at reading the signs of impending violence. Mm -hmm. So you're back in the library. Yes. There's uh, some kid that's uh, uh, busy shining the uh, trophy in the trophy room. He's like just rubbing the trophy. Yeah, I was going to check out the trophy room. It's got... It, uh, the only interesting thing is there's no trophies older than seven years old. Yeah, which was when shit happened in this place. Um, because I'm not familiar w with it, I am going to find some... Actually, I, should have, I could have done it there as well, didn't even think of it. Um, basically, books about what happened. Get a bit more of an understanding of what happened. Are you talking about the rending here? Yep. Cool. Give me a simple research roll of full. And I will tell you the great story of the rending. Otherwise, you find a book that will amuse Logan greatly. Excuse me. Did you say if you'd made it? Yes, I'd made it. Ah, it shows the title as an idiot's guide to the rending. And it's got like the, ah, you know. And right. Uh, the, the gist of it, aliens came to Earth. This caused humanity to lose its collective shit. Quite a few people died from stupidity alone in those early days. After a time, the aliens took control of humanity and outlawed certain technologies. Any Anyone caught using them died in a horrible blue fire death. This included anything more complicated than medieval weaponry. Since electricity is needed to keep food from going bad, this immediately led to a fuck ton of people starving to death. Ironically, as many people died from we have no food riots as to what actually died from having no food. <laughs> In addition, uh, through use of strange technologies, aliens took a good chunk of two generations of children. Few know why or where the kids went. Afterward, the natural laws changed massively. Steam could no longer push a train, electricity refused to work, and so on. Nobody knew if it was the aliens or the coming of magic and monsters. And it then got even worse. Some people said other people turned into monsters. Other people said monsters just appeared. Many of the plants and animals in the world also became monsters. Monsters ravaged the fuck out of humanity until humanity finally accepted what happened and learned to fight back. 
Massive deaths caused by technology, the loss of two generations of children being abducted by aliens and then monsters appearing really fucking dwindled down the human population. Rampant insanity from those who could not quickly adapt dwindled it further. Nobody knows how many people uh, there are now or even how many human cities are left. One arguably good thing that happened to humanity is over half of them suddenly developed magical powers. Most people have a relatively minor amount of magic, but about 10% of all humans can learn all sorts of spells. Because there was no religion to hold them back, they don't mention that, but you piece it together because McKay knows a lot of shit. It seemed that, uh, and magic seemed to be the only light in the darkness, humanity seized upon this new power and rapidly developed it. They quickly developed magic, and that replaced many of the lost technologies. They called it Magitech, or that shit that makes other shit work. The other thing that happened was the aliens completely got rid of... The other thing that happened was... Oh, the other thing that happened was the aliens got rid of all the world pollution. For a time, it seemed all the plants and uh, animals grew and mated in a frenzy. Here, there's a lot of pictures of lots of different kinds of animals fucking. Two generations have since passed since the event called the rending. Many people live in fear that the rending will happen again, or the aliens will come back and further knock humanity's dick in the dirt. They didn't phrase it just like that, but you know what I mean. On the plus side, uh, aliens did take away all the man-made pollution and waste from the earth somehow. Mankind has been doing its best to try to restock the pollution as hard as it can since. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like our pollution's gone. What happened to our beloved trash mounds? And so humanity has been making new ones and saying, fuck you aliens. If we want to fuck up our planet, we're going to do it. Because that's how we roll. Take a card for being the first person who's bothered to read a book on the rending. Well, yeah, I was just curious as to... Uh, so what happens... In, hmm, it's, I'm a bit confused about something now. Excellent. Either I've misunderstood something or I need to re-look at it. All right, so what happened seven years ago? Ah, give me a research roll at negative 30. This is not clear. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Nobody knows. I'll <laughs> ask Mr. Ramirez later on. Hmm. Tracking him down like a fucking animal. Well, actually, I, I I don't need to ask just him. I could ask anybody, really, because it's only seven years ago. You could do so a research I, role and go around asking people, what happened seven years ago? But that would I'll be ask, style leaving the library and those three guys I'll out go there. and ask the kid polishing the trophies. Oh, all right. He looks at you and he says... That's when I started polishing these goddamn trophies. <laughs> he just keeps polishing them. Okay. You're thinking this kid, usually it's the idiots or people who are fucking wildly disobedient that get sent to a trophy room to polish. And if you, mm -hmm. and apparently he's under a weird, com, uh, compelling geas or something, where if he stops punishing the or polishing the trophy, then uh, bad shit. So he keeps polishing. It's it's okay. a definitely a punishment. Okay. I shall case the forbidden stacks and look a. I want to have a closer look inside it and see if there's um, the size of the room compared to the size of the library, as in height, etc. And that oh, are you saying is there a. a a drop ceiling or something? Yes, yes, no. yes. That sort of the stuff. ceiling is high, though. I mean, uh, the the fence thing is higher. Well, actually, it is possible, I suppose, if you were to climb up some shelves and then do a jump roll. The problem is it'd be noisy coming down on the other side. 
Mm -hmm. If you could find a way to land completely silently, then you could do it, but you may still knock over shit. Um, Blizzard's the decorative spikes on the top of the fence. So missing your jumper would be very bloody. Um, what, um, what's, is there things like chandeliers or lights hanging from the ceiling, that sort of stuff? If you were to do an Errol Flynn, you mean? Um, yeah, pretty much. No, they, they definitely are expecting somebody to try that kind of shit. They've, they've done their best to protect it from uh, horrible people breaking into it. The the easiest way, uh, you'd still have to figure out some clever way to uh, avoid the floor. The floor is lava, apparently. Well, um, that, that's that's the other reason I was asking for. If there was large chandeliers, I could tie a rope to and climb down and hang from one of them. You the, totally could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's more, more, along, the floor. more along the lines of beams. You'd need to find some rope somewhere. Or, of course, you'd get a bunch of sheets from the laundry room. We know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have big coil. Actually, no, you do know where big coils of rope are out near the obstacle course. Of course, exactly. You I was gonna, that's it, pretty much what I was going to say. Just go out to the obstacle course and yeah. Big, the only problem is as soon as you get the rope, then stealing, getting a big bunch of rope in could be awkward. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing with that rope going to the library? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes. Oh, a bit more on the magical power rank since you did do some research on that. Uh, one in ten uh, hit the magus rank. Uh, all the uh, you seem to be at the magus rank for some reason. Yep. Two in ten uh, uh, hit the uh, adept rank. Uh, these these are people that uh, might only be able to learn one tree or only up to a certain level on a certain number of trees. Uh, and then about two in ten are able to hit gifted rank. These are some sort of a uh, dull job that requires a minimum use of magic, like uh, mm -hmm. activating shit in a factory or something. Basically, you this is the you can use your magic points to make something maybe go. Uh, so I'm all right. I'm sorry, no, I was I was just about to speculate mm -hmm. about how kids ended up getting picked to come here in the first place. Mm -hmm. They get tested out in the real, out in St. Angeles in mm -hmm. primary school or whatever on mm -hmm. one of these machines and those that reach pro the, either the, the top two levels or the top three levels are the ones that are sent here. Mm -hmm. About one in ten uh, human has a uh, uh, canny rank, which is the super useless thing, although you may be able to do a neat bar trick. Um yeah, or or something called a seeing stone, but you don't know what they're talking about there. Mm -hmm. And then about four and ten have no magic, can't do shit, can't sense shit, can't activate shit, nothing. That's the null rank. In all right, in the thing about the rending, does it say when the alien? It said that they took two generations of children, but I don't recall any mention of the aliens buggering off. Uh, hold on, I will get you the. Uh, actual years because I figured somebody might want that shit. So let me find it real quick here. Ah, there we are. Uh, okay, here's the general timeline. Mm -hmm. uh, furry Western, 1880. Uh, furry Western or, or human Genovian version of the Furry Western? Yes. Because if it was actual fairy western, then that opens up another can of worms. Yes, well, it's not really clear because they don't really distinguish in their books and shit. No, um, but from the drawings and the illustrations, it'd be pretty obvious if they're talking about actual beast kin or humans. Well, according to according to the books here, there was never any beast kin. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Just because you re by referring to yeah, yeah. That's um, it. let's see. Uh, you know from wait you were never there uh let's see um uh, genovia uh 1880s uh red carpet 2020 uh let's see is this yeah this this knows it uh the period that logan calls crap sack cyberpunk mm -hmm. 2050 now for the parts you don't know uh alien takeover 2090 
Aliens Leap 2100. So there are, hang on a minute. So the aliens were only there for 10 years. Yeah. Give me a research role to, to yeah. find some other interesting they, they shit. Take two generations of children. Good question. No, it's, uh, it sort of fits in with other stuff I'm seeing where stuff seems to be compressed or uh -huh. doesn't quite make sense. Correct. Uh, and Red Carpet, Cyberpunk, Alien Takeover, Aliens Leave. I think I was missing something in there. Well, give me a research role for more interesting shit here to, that you find. You are in a library. You're the first yes. person that's like, well, yeah. let's, let's haunt the library. Well, it's so, easier to do when you, sometimes it's easier to do when you're by yourself and not with other players. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, Aliens Leave 2100. The Great Magic War Begins 2101. 2101. Genovia Sinks 2105. Or disappears, depending on which book. 2105. That is apparently the end of that continent. Great Magic War Ends, 2108. Sorry, what? 2108, that was the Great Magic, Magic War, War Ends. Ends. Yeah. Great Magic War went for seven years, and it got bad enough that a continent either went missing or sunk. Plus other mm -hmm. horrible shit. Lots of atrocities were loosed on the earth as well. And uh, Gothic post-apocalyptic is what I call this. That's 2151. That is where you are currently at. But you are not anywhere, and the information you have doesn't tell you exactly where you are, which is weird and a little spooky. So this is, yeah, this is Shadow. What are they called? The Shadow Academy. Yes. So that's that's the rough timeline, but yeah, it doesn't seem to work out on everything. But no, that's the timeline. That doesn't, as, as I said, it doesn't surprise me. Mm. And as I've discovered, the instance, the zones don't actually have direct. They link, but they don't link. Mm. And that when I did things like take take um race guides from cyberpunk world they didn't match up to the races in red carpet world strange things are afoot at the circle k sir yes and also the fact that we've got based kin version of a reality sl slotted in there weird But it did give Alex Kinley the chance to have sex with the tigress or lioness. Yes. Have have sex with the same woman in two different zones. Yeah. And people wonder why she loves him so much. Nah. <laughs> yes. He's such a freak. <sighs> No, plus it's interesting that you, uh, when you get the information, because later you can disseminate it as you see fit, et cetera. Yes. Uh -huh. But yeah, the, the fact that there are anachronisms doesn't, well, I've already, like myself, I think both myself and Chris have picked up on that there seems to be quite a few anachronisms in oh, yeah. to time being compressed and stuff and... <sighs> Oh, Chris! Chris is a clever fucker and takes some notes. That's for sure. Yeah. If you ever want to watch him get irritated, ask him about the note spike that some of the PCs brought in once. He's still <laughs> pissed about that. It's funny. Just ask him for the story. So. What do you do now? You you know that the actually the three kids may or may not be outside waiting for you. You're starting to yeah. think that you've been in here long enough that perhaps they've gotten bored. And, nope, there they are. They're still waiting to beat you up. Nobody does a walk like that and fucking lives. 
when the law the laws of reality changed when was that when did that occur in the timeline was that when the great war magic war begin uh, it depends on who you talk to as far as uh, the, the laws of reality changing, but uh, it, it's many of the laws seem to change as soon as the al aliens came there. So 2090, because they stopped a lot of shit from working. They're like, no, you can't have nukes. No, you don't need that. And then people. Okay, so almost die. like the. <sighs> The new spear. Is it the new spear? The information spear? So by tampering with that. Hmm. Okay. I shall leave the library to deal with this. They fucking jump your ass. One, uh, basically, uh, we're initiating combat. They're not just beating you, one of them's going to grab you so he can put you against the wall. But it is combat rounds, and they don't know what they've gotten themselves into. First so let's go through it. Lovely. You are not surprised at all because you're like, yep, here we go. Uh, so it's standard combat. Uh, they're mm -hmm. a few years older than you and possibly getting less of a damage bonus reduction than you, the bastards. So heroes are first. Being in a dirigible or blimp is approved. So... Uh, once coming forward to grab you with the R2 are going to be attempting to menace you. Mm -hmm. I'm giving first, them of all, first of all, I shall pay Pulp Fiction Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I could take this all day, kid. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> that's the one where you basically take no stun, correct? That's right. Wow, that's nasty. Okay, so it's your action, though. What do you want to do? Taking only real damage if enter, if any. I shall step forward and punch the guy that's about to grapple me. Excellent. Go for it. Uh, where are we? Unarmed. Is that... There's an 11-year-old who got jumped by a bunch of 15-year-olds. What's the end? Martial arts unarmed. That have been learning. Yes. <laughs> okay, so normally that, that increases D4, but then you're... Uh, yeah, and then you've got uh, the strength increase, so that's D6, but then you go D4, D3, because you're down by two. Yep, yep. So basically, I, I don't think it's possible unless you start using other shit to get above D3. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, and I will play my D6 damage dice. You're just nasty now. So... <laughs> just a <kidding. laughs> oh. Go ahead and max out the damage. Let's see how this works. Yeah. That is fucking... Let me see if I can... Like this. It'd be it'd be funny if you got a crit and we're doing double damage and shit, but let's see how we do. This D three plus 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 D six. Oh, far out. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will blow up. I'm going to blow a hero point on that. That's just bad. Are you sure? <laughs> What's not? wrong with a good hard slap, huh? Come on, it's one real one stun. He'll have a bruise. Oh, you got to be kidding me! That is fucking <laughs> funny as shit. That's the exact same roll, folks. He managed to roll one and a one on D three and D six. You happy now, Pete? Do you want to spend yeah, another hero point well, trying to nah, around? Nah, not for, not, for, not for this. All right, great. As much fun as it would have been to, to do like eight, ten points of damage. He is a bit shocked, but he is going to try to grapple you. He's not great at this. Not at all. The other kids are trying to intimidate you this round. You have gotten scarier shit in your breakfast cereal. That's <laughs> the Thulu O's are much scarier. Next round. Villains are first. Heroes are second. Throwing or dropping something currently held. I have no idea if you're holding anything. But, uh, right, the kid is going to try to grapple you again. Oh, I should have used that. Ah, 
he picks you up. Ha, 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 he says, air two kids maneuver on you so they can be like uncomfortably close so they can try to intimidate you harder. Holy shit, they're, they're bookending you. Okay. Wow, these guys are kicking ass, you think. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you are not touching the ground. I shall shin kick the kid that's holding, that's grappled me. Uh, not, not sure if your foot will reach quite that low, but you do have another target of opportunity. Just give me a kick roll. If you want to try a called shot at negative 30, you can go for the old typical strike. Yeah, I was considering that, but I, thought, I won't. I won't take it to that you, level yet. All right, you just you try just kicking him in the stomach or torso or something. Go ahead and give me yeah, a yeah, kicking. Yeah. Give me a good right kicking roll, please. It's normally a uh, British thing, but Australians can do it. Was either, was either that or doing the back the headbutt back into his face? But again, I'm not gonna not gonna quite go to that level quite yet. Mm. I'll let them take it there first. Okay. Uh, yes, make my attack roll. Mm. Let's make my martial arts roll. Nope. I was going to say, right, even so... if you make your martial arts, it's not going to help your damage at this point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too sure as to... I've got to tick on it any... Oops, wrong, wrong skill. I have not pulled I was going to say, yet. since you've gotten a martial arts tick already, I wouldn't personally buy yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. Do more so, yeah, so minimum, D, minimum is D3 anyway, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Good uh, luck. Come on, one. Give him another slapping. He likes it. Three points. No, he got him pretty good there. He, he, so he's up to five now. He, he is looking a bit shaken. He's going to try a strength roll to bash you into a wall. He drops you. You're on your feet. In fact, he <laughs> manages to set you on your feet. Uh, one, you. of the, uh, one, one of the... <laughs> One of the air kids is going to try to push you, and then the other one's going to try to intimidate you. Push. He combs your hair. The other one tries to Thank scare you. you to death. He smiles uncertainly at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good fights, you think. And <laughs> next round. <laughs> Heroes are first. Throwing yourself out the nearest window is approved. Just yeah. run through the way. <laughs> okay, Thanks so. In a way. <laughs> it shows up. Like, All right. <laughs> right. The one kid's like, he, he's wondering what happened because he got a double slap from some kid. Looking a bit yeah. surprised about all this. You're thinking one more. If you can hit him again well, you should be able Crit. to. That might be well enough. <laughs> Is that D3 plus D3 then? Uh huh. Come on, two. Give him an air slapping. Oh. All right. He he actually crumbles. The air kids immediately make morale rolls. They are not digging this little. They 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 back off and go, okay, okay, okay. And they they you got this one, but but um We can continue if you wish. Do we want no I'll punch one of them. <laughs> Next <laughs> round. Uh, heroes are first threatening the bad guy's mother's proof. <laughs> All right, instead, <laughs> go ahead and give me a punch roll as you uh, lay into uh, the one who was trying to think of something witty to say, but at that age, they just don't quite have it together yet. Yep. <laughs> give me one point. Uh, let me see if this stiffens his spine or right. He starts crying and runs off. The other one just uh, he goes, "You're on your own." To the kid who's laying there unconscious and runs off. Is anybody else around? Uh, actually, let me check here. Yeah. All right. I'll pet him down. <laughs> he has kid shit on him. He has nothing good. Ah, right, you get just his voucher. Sweets vouchers. Yeah, you fine. Yeah. You, you loot the kid, which is not something normal kids do, but you're like, loot? Did you and even then take I any will... damage? Nah, they didn't touch me. 
I didn't even. I didn't even need to play. I didn't even need to play the pulp action fighter. Well, you are an adult in a kid's body, and I, I think yeah. that Joshua McKay knows what violence in action means, and these kids don't. They were still in the bluster stage, and they yeah. pick them up and hold them against the. And you're like, I right, beat the fuck out of this one, and then this one, and if that one's still here, he'll, he'll know. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to. Extra sweet vouchers. Uh, Kid's just laying there bleeding. Not a lot of blood. He's not dying or anything, but you, you've definitely fucked him up. He's gonna have bruises and shit. All right, I'm. I'm going to basically. Uh, he's probably. They're probably not going to be. They're probably not going to stretch enough to put him over his head. <laughs> Strip his pants off and his underpants and put his underpants on his head. All right. Done. <laughs> Give me a luck roll to accomplish all this and leave before anybody else gets there. What house were they from, by the way? Uh, no, I don't make my luck roll. Somebody else comes walking up while you're yanking off this kid's underwear. And uh, they were they were from uh, House Hydra. And he just looks at you, and he just stops and watches. Wait, you can't? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not sure what's going on yet. He's heard about English boarding schools, and he wants no part of certain aspects of it. <laughs> he watches you put him on his head, and he goes, oh. And he just leaves. <laughs> He's like, eh. If it was the other way around, he might be indignant, but watching an 11 year old fucking, you know, 15, 16 year old, there's a huge size difference. It's, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. He, he just shrugs like, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave now. Okay. So, yeah. After dealing with that kid and humiliating him afterward, um, mm -hmm. big card for being an evil little fuck. Uh, plus, you got some extra sweet vouchers now. Hooray. Yeah. I mean, sure, you can have a fine meal at a very nice hotel, but those sweets vouchers are fucking worth something. <laughs> I shall now go to the sweet store hmm. and cash in my vouchers. All right. And, which I will then share to the people that sit with me at the dinner table later on. They think for the... Uh, you, uh, if you remember, I believe your character is considered the wimpiest kid because you cried yes. and stuff during the yes. uh, the marking. Uh, so they they're like, you know, for the wimpy kid, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, that's probably your nickname too, something like wimpy or whatever, because everybody's like, yeah, they don't know you just beat up a bunch of older kids on a whim. No, because they tried to beat me up. Well, they don't know anything about that. Uh, but yeah, they, they they need to be taught that bullying is not tolerated. Apparently not. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, uh, if only I had some. Yeah, that was the only thing. Other thing, if I had a, had some paint or something. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to do now? Um. <clears throat> so I could do that. By the way, give me a metallurgy roll. Don't what? <laughs> I don't think I've got metallurgy. I've got oh. geology, but I don't think I've got metallurgy. But besides, give me a yeah. new skill roll. <laughs> yeah, you will skill. learn everything eventually. It'll be awesome. Yeah, no, it's not even in the writing list. Uh, skill check. One hundred. Excellent. Uh, you remember that the uh, cage for the restricted book section was made of radioactive titanium. If you go yes. and touch it, then it will either kill you or turn you into a superhero. Mm, tempting. You may, I can do you may it have been now. reading too many of the kids' <laughs> books and shit. You're not sure. Oh, that was what I wanted to try. Okay, back to the library. Uh, no problem. Uh, let's see if the uh, kid is still there or... 
Yeah. <laughs> you, wander, <laughs> you wander by. There's a bunch of our kids that are sitting there looking at him. Uh, and one of them goes like, eh, that's not right. He takes out like a handkerchief and puts it over the guy's penis. There you go. I don't want the handkerchief back. He tells the unconscious kid, right? You had a uh, I want to get uh, oh, there's two two things. I want to get paper and a pen. Done. Uh, the pen is a quill pen. Ink is there, and they also yes. have blotting paper and the uh, weird stone thing that you know, and the drying thing. They have all that paraphernalia bullshit. Perfect. I will write. Bullying will not be tolerated. <laughs> Okay. And go and stick it on the kit. People back away and watch you, and they're like, what happened to him? He attempted to bully someone. <gasps> the kids are not really... Apparently, bullying is part of life in this, this world, and they, didn't, they don't know it's bad, but now they're learning. All right, back into the library. I shall make a paper airplane. And when the librarian is not around, I shall basically I'll be throwing paper airplanes until I get one that fly into the forbidden stacks roll to see paper. what happens. No problem. Roll craft paper airplane skill, sir. This is a skill that has come up in the campaign.